Salut la famille! Welcome on this video where I'll show you how to edit your pictures like a pro on Capture One to go from this to this. Let's go! Okay guys, we are here on Capture One and for today's tutorial I chose this picture from a recent photo shoot that I had with this incredible model. I will leave the model's Instagram on the description so please make sure to follow her. So as you can see here, we have a raw picture unedited. As you may know, I live in Poland, so uh, sunny days are a luxury that we don't have. And you can see from the window, it was a pretty cloudy day. So that gave a very cold look to the pictures. So the first thing that we will start with is the white balance. So we will play a little bit with the white balance until we see something that we like. Of course, while taking this picture, the image that I had in, in my mind is of a very brownish picture, very warm and brownish picture. So I will adjust the white balance until I see something that I like. And I think I like it like that, yeah. Yeah, I think we can have something like that. Yeah, I really like it like that. Yeah, mm, yeah let's keep it here. The tint generally we don't touch in that, but sometimes you can use it if you want to introduce some greens or purples to your picture. Here probably I will add a little bit of tint, so uh, I think, yeah, I think here is good. For the exposure, as you can see, this is a fitness model and the whole look that we want to go with for this picture is a grungy look. So we don't want to brighten the whole picture. Uh, we will add just a little bit just to show the most important things in the picture, but not brighten it to, to show everything. I think one is a little bit too much. So probably I will do a 0 0.5. Yeah, I think it's more than enough. For the contrast, as I said earlier, it's a fitness picture. So to show up the muscles, it show up all that you need to have a lot of contrast. So we will add a lot of contrast here. I think, I think 15 is good. 15, it make the picture really contrast. The brightness, I will add maybe a little bit. So one, two, I think let's put it a tree. The saturation, I will not touch that for now because I prefer to play with the saturation in the color editor. So like that, I have control over the saturation of each particular color instead of doing a global desaturation or adding the saturation to all the colors. So we will go to the high dynamic range where we can control the highlight shadows, white and blacks. So the highlights, if you want to know what's the difference between the whites and the highlights in the shadow and the blacks, the blacks are a little bit more precise. The whites, the same thing. Highlight impacts almost all the highlights of the picture, including the whites. In the shadow, all the shadows in the picture, including the blacks. So we want to have this contrast between the dark and the bright in this picture to make all the muscles show. So we will add quite a lot of, of highlights. This is something that most photographers probably would not be recommending because it, we will have a lot of overblown highlights. I think in the window it will be overblown. So we can click on the exposure warning to see. And yeah, as expected, you can see that it's overblown. But it's not a big problem because we want to give this, this feeling that it was a very bright day. So we added 70 shadows we want to add it's already a lot of shadows but we want to increase that we want to to give this grungy look so we will add if we open the shadows you can see you start to see all the details we don't want that for this picture so we will be adding maybe yeah 10 is good the whites is almost the same story with the highlight we will increase a little bit the whites i think just something here yeah, not to overblow everything with the white, but maybe here and we will add a little bit of blacks. Yeah, here. 
okay so we can see a before and after so we gave it already this very grungy look the clarity and the structure the structure it controls the texture and the clarity i think people are very familiar with the clarity so the clarity let's add it to show you what it does so you can intro introduce a lot of clarity to the picture or by reducing it you will have a lot of softness so this is not a picture for softness and we will be adding some clarity so let's add little by little until we see something that we like and i think 10 is good structure it impacts the 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 texture so the texture as you can see we have a lot of texture in this picture but it's already quite clear maybe we will adjust a little bit nah, yeah maybe just two i prefer to do that later on on photoshop but i think two is okay the haze will not be touching there is nothing that we want to there is nothing that we want there's not a lot of haze on the picture so we don't want to touch that here we have the levels the levels i call them the easiest version of the curves the curves you need to understand a little bit where to put exactly the dots to play with the curves but the levels are a little bit easier to to manipulate so you have here you have all the darks of the picture here you have the midtones that you can adjust and here you have the highlights on the top this removes the highlights and the other one removes things from the shadow what i will be doing here is that i will be playing only because the picture is already too dark and there is too much highlight already so i don't want to touch the highlights and the shadows but i want to play a little bit with the midtones you can see generally most pictures they sit while well, well balanced portraits they generally sit within the midtones but for this one, because it's really dark, everything is sitting within the shadow. So I want to increase a little bit the midtones. And also because the midtones, you don't have you don't have any slider here that controls only the midtones. Exposure and the brightness, they, they, they impact almost everything. So here you can have a control over the midtones alone. So I will be adding a little bit of midtones until I see something I like. I think plus two brought a little bit of life back to the picture i think it was a little bit too dark and now you can see that it added a little bit curves i will not touch it because i already did it here this in other sliders and how we have in the color editor the color editor is where we can control each color individually this particular look that i'm looking for and i'm going for for this picture is to have almost every i want the picture to be pre predominantly orange and red so i don't want other colors to be here to distract from that so let's see here we have the saturation for this purple so i think we don't necessarily need this i will put it up just to see what it impacts i don't think it impacts a lot so let's put it here purple is the same i don't want to have purples in this picture so i will reduce them to the 60s blues same i don't want to have any blues and if they are i want to reduce them so let's go also in the 70s same thing for the cyan i don't want that on this picture so i'll remove it and here we are on the greens for the greens what i would be doing i there is some greens on the picture even if you cannot see it but because the greens generally is for some editors like capture one generally they confuse sometimes i notice that they confuse sometimes the greens and the yellows so the greens most of the time they also impact the yellows and the yellows impact the green so when we add it you can see that it has something but still i don't want a lot of that so i will be reducing a little bit the saturation of the greens i will put it at minus 20 yellows the yellows are good for this picture but i still don't need them a lot so i'll reduce them by maybe 20. here the orange i think the orange is the predominant picture the color in this picture 
So I don't want to really remove it. So I think I will just desaturate it a little bit, maybe just three. And here we have the reds. The reds sometimes for certain type of uh, skins, it's not something good. So I will probably reduce it just a little bit, maybe by 10. Just to have the orange and I will move the, uh, the hues of the red a little bit toward the orange. So here, if you move it here, you move it a little bit toward the orange and here toward the purple. So I think I will, I will play with it a little bit just to push it, to push all the reds a little bit toward the orange. Good. So now we can go to the color balance. Color balance is the most powerful tool in Capture One. It's other tool, other like Lightroom, they have something similar, but it doesn't do the same work. So the color balance has first those three wheels. The three wheels, they control the shadow. You have here that this is the saturation. This is the hue. So you can control which color you want and you can control the luminosity of your shadows the same from the midtones and the highlights so the first thing i will be doing here i like most of the time to introduce some blues to my shadows so i'll add a little bit of blues not too much but just a little bit and i think i think just yeah i think let's, let's leave it like that uh, for the midtones, I want some yellows. So maybe this is a little bit too much into the greens. Maybe a little bit of yellows. Let's add them here. And this almost the same thing for the highlights. So let's add some yellows to the highlights. Let's do something like this. And let's add a little bit of that. Let's add a little bit of brightness here and a little bit of brightness here. Okay, still the look is not perfect to me. So what I will be doing is that I will go to the master. The master, those three wheels introduce the colors that you want to particular areas, to shadows, midtones, and highlights. The master adds adds a global color to the whole picture so what i will be doing is that i will go here i will see a hue that i want to add to the picture so i will say orange and i will add until i like what i see so i think yeah i think it's here it's good hmm so now what can we do to add a little bit more to this picture? So we will go back to the color editor and I will show you a trick that I like to do in this type of pictures that you want to have one predominant color. So I will go to advance and I will select, I will select anything at this point. So let's select here. So what I want to do is that I will expand this selection and I will select the colors that I want in this picture. So what I will do is that I will select this view select color range. What this will do is show me only the colors selected. So let's do it. Of course, as we established earlier, this picture has a lot of yellows, reds and oranges. So those are the colors that we want in this picture. So here, yeah, we added a little bit of purple. I don't think that we need it. Yeah, so those are the only colors selected now. I think let's remove that and you can see. So you see the difference? So this is only with those colors. And so this just helps you to visualize. It doesn't do anything. So it just desaturates everything else and shows you only that. So we will not, we will not do much for this selection. We don't want to impact that because we already played a lot with those colors. But what we want to do is to reduce all other colors outside of this range. So those, I call them the distractions. 
I will click on this option here. This, this option is called invert slice. What it does is that now you control everything except the areas here. So as we said, we don't want any distraction. This, well, distractions, not distractions, but distraction. So I will go and desaturate everything else on this picture. So we reduce by 100, I think let's, let's leave it at 90. So we don't just kill everything. And then we can play until we see a range that we like here. Yeah. And I think, let's see if we can. I believe by now the picture is ready for Photoshop or even to be shared. This is all for this video. I hope you learned one thing or two from it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you didn't, please let me know in the comments what you did like. So like that I can improve that in the future video. So that's all for today and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.